All right, over the weekend, the environmental nonprofit Baykeeper got their first reports of a possible sighting of an algae bloom or red tide near Alameda Island. So they're still looking into it, but that's the same spot where a harmful algae bloom started last year and it eventually spread to Lake Merritt, killing thousands of fish in the summertime. So the effort to keep the Lake Merritt area clean is a weekly process, even without the threat of the red tide. And as Sean Chitna shows us, local volunteers right now, they are taking pride in protecting a part of their home. Ta-da, got it. Laura Godarez says she volunteers to clean Lake Merritt for selfish reasons. I enjoy it. I don't enjoy seeing the trash in it. And so if I can do something to help mitigate that, it means I can enjoy it even more. So every Tuesday, she joins others grabbing whatever trash they find on the ground and in the water. Nothing is too tiny to take out of the lake. Garbage is garbage. It's not your typical way of getting a workout by the water, but it's fun for this group who appreciate Lake Merritt as one of the jewels of Oakland. It's beautiful and it's got it's a wildlife refuge. And as the oldest wildlife refuge in North America, they feel a responsibility to take care of this home for animals and keep it a safe backyard for families who live nearby. And there's never any shortage of trash, whether it washed up here or someone threw it in. Lots of plastic, cardboard, paper cups, clothing, sleeping bags, blankets, pillows, office furniture, containers of all sorts, a mattress once, a wheelchair. I mean, you name it, we find it. So volunteers are the lifeblood of Lake Merritt Institute and we need them to help us clean up around the lake. James Robinson is the Institute's executive director. He's with the volunteers each step of the way from their planning meeting at the beginning of the day up until the end when they're ready to go home. Ahead of the summer months, he's on alert for red tide spreading like it did last year when it uses up all the oxygen in the water and suffocates the fish. It's looking pretty decent. We're not as worried right now, but we're still cautious. And that's a very good place to be in because it always keeps you prepared and proactive. So while the experts continue to monitor those conditions and the big picture, there, got it. Volunteers like Laura will stop to scoop up the smallest piece of trash. We left it cleaner than it was when we got here. So that's something. And we're gonna do it again all over next Tuesday. A dirty job you couldn't pay some people enough money to do, but she loves coming back each week for free because the best paycheck she could ask for is the view. That's right. Since the red tide lives in salt water, the rain earlier this year helped to bring down the amount of salt in Lake Merritt, but a heat wave could make the water more salty again, which is why they're constantly monitoring what is happening in the water at the Institute.